Are there good guy packs to fight bad guy packs? Well, there are. I know because I'm involved in one. It's called Rebellion Pack. And we're bringing on our executive director, Brianna Wu, to talk about a particular race that Rebellion Pack is involved in. That's the Nina Turner Chantel Brown race in Cleveland. Brianna, welcome. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, good to have you here. Now, uh, Brianna, we've got a new ad that we're going to show people for the first time here. Um, so why don't we run that one first uh, and then we'll talk about it. Charlemagne the God is frustrated by politicians, except for one amazing woman. Here's what Charlemagne said about her on The Breakfast Club. I'm going to donate right now. I don't know why I just don't set up the monthly thing and let well, them do I think it. You, you've been supportive of me. You really have. I feel very much a part of this family. I love you guys. Who is that? Good news, that's Nina Turner, and she's running right here in Cleveland. Did you know 47% of black folks make less than $15 an hour? Nina is the champion of a $15 minimum wage. She's not going to stop until we raise everyone's wages. Cricket politicians keep telling you why you should not get paid more. Send Nina to Congress to fight for us and get us the raise we all deserve. She is the only one who's earned our trust. Vote for Nina Turner on May 3rd. Uh, Brianna, it looks like uh, it's emphasizing trust uh, because with all the money being spent on these races, there's so much deceptive advertising in this race, it's hard for people to know who to trust. So when you see uh, people that you know, like Charlemagne the God, et cetera, that might make a difference. Uh, but that leads me to the question of how much money is being spent on these uh, races? How much dark money is in is in this race this time around, roughly? Yeah, Jake, it's absolutely astonishing. Uh, there's one pack uh, in particular. It's a it's a pro-Israel pack that has donated close to a million dollars to Chantel Brown in this race. And you know, we look at the airwaves down there. We're getting outspent, and a lot of the reason why Nina, we felt a real need to get involved in this race is Nina needs some help. We're the good guys here. You know, she doesn't have, uh, you know, a bunch of people handing her three million dollars for to get in this race and uh, you know, flood the airways. So we have to do what we can and we have to do it harder and smarter than the other people. Uh, what Rebellion has done is we went and did a bunch of polling before we started to figure out what kind of issues would be very salient with people in Cleveland. And you know, it's the same stuff you talk about on this show every single night. It is $15 minimum wage tested through the roof. It's Medicare for all. It's protecting voting rights. And what people want to hear from our research is just somebody giving it to them straight. They don't want to hear a politician telling them something. They want to hear it like it's a friend telling it to them at their coffee table. Yeah, so um, Democrats promised $15 minimum wage, but they didn't do anything about it. And when um, not only Republicans, but corporate Democrats in the Senate voted against it, and it was just mentioned in the cinema, eight of them voted against it. Um, all the rest of the Democrats uh, laid down and did nothing. Now, we're pretty sure Nina Turner would not be in that camp. But we're not the only ones that's sure of that, right, Brianna? Because in the last time these two ran against each other, the pack you're talking about, Democratic Majority for Israel, sent out a mailer about Nina's position on $15 minimum wage. Do you remember what it said on it? I do. They were completely misconstruing her position on this, making it seem like Nina Turner, the people's champion, Cleveland's champion, Nina Turner, like she would stand against a fifteen dollar minimum wage. It's it, it was oh, it was the most dishonest attack I think I've ever seen in my entire political career. And both of us ran for office, so we've seen quite a few of them. Uh, you know, it's it's just. It's this kind of filth that really makes people lose faith in, in politicians and in the democratic process. You know, I want to return to something you were talking about earlier, which is you know, the Democrats have not done anything on this. You know, all of us, your 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 viewers, all of us, we, even though Joe Biden was not our candidate. We held our nose and we helped him get elected. And I am not the only Democrat that's been extremely disappointed by how much they're following through. They can tell us all day long how bad the Republicans are, and they are. 
But the Republicans are not asking for our votes, Democrats are. If they want us to show up, they need to give us a reason. And that's why I want to get people like Nina Turner into office. People that will fight, people that won't lay down, you know, people that are going to deliver. Helptherebellion.com to do more ads. Every ad is another voter that we reach or many voters that we reach. And look, it's on on that mailer that Democratic Majority for Israel sent out. They just flat out lied about Nina Turner's position on $15 minimum wage and three other positions, including Medicare for all. When in fact, Chantel Brown has now backed away from Medicare for all. Of course, of course, they <laughs> never intended it. They used the dark money to lie to the voters to trick them into voting for these corporate candidates. We could use our money to actually tell the truth, help the rebellion.com and get that to the voters. So uh, Brianna, there's another uh, commercial uh, that uh, Rebellion Pack's running. I wanna show that one and then talk about that as well. Let's watch. Nina Turner said we should fight for our $15 minimum wage, Medicare for all and voting rights. But Chantel Brown said we should not fight, we should be civil toward Joe Manchin, Kristen Sinema, and other opponents of the Democratic agenda. She preferred civility to getting anything done. You're right, that's a terrible idea. Frederick Douglass said, power never concedes without a demand. Send Nina Turner to demand higher wages, universal health care, and voting rights. This time, instead of someone looking out for themselves, let's pick someone who is looking out for us. Send Nina in to demand justice and fight for Cleveland. So Brianna, there's two different things there. There's the issues and there's the issue of civility versus fighting. So that's style, right? Um, so as you said, there's polling on it. Um, if the people of Cleveland of the 11th district knew the actual positions of Nina Turner versus Chantel Brown, is there any question who would win? No, of course not. It's a question of who can get their message out, right? Which is really hard to do when you have, a, you know, a basically dark money pouring into the race to misrepresent your positions. It's absolutely abysmal. And you know, Jake, I'm going to break some news for you tonight on this show. You know, you were so brave and you stepped up and you put $25,000 of your own money into this race. I want to tell you tonight. I'm going to match that with $10,000 of my own money. I work a lot of races and I don't get attached to all of them, but I've been watching Nina for a long time. She is a truly once in a cycle candidate. She is, she's amazing. She's gotta win, this is do or die for the Democrats and I'm putting my money where, where my mouth is. So anything TYT listeners donate, to helptherebellion.com tonight, I will personally match that up to $10,000. We've absolutely got to win this thing. That's amazing. I literally didn't know that. She surprised me with that. Um, I did. Yeah, okay, so thank I've you. I've been thinking about it all day. I'm like, I am in, we've got to win this thing. Talk is not enough. This is a really important race. If we can't win this, if we can't get our champion in, I just, I, I really despair for where our country is going to go. This election is in about a week. In fact, early voting started now. So if you're in Cleveland, you're in the 11th district, you've got to vote. You, and you know anybody in Cleveland, make sure that they vote. It's so important. It's the most important congressional race. And 25K for me, 10,000 for Brianna. It's no joke. Those are we're not like the dark money guys with the millions of dollars, and they know you. They don't know what to do with it. We and so that those those are big, devastating numbers for us. Please match the 10K that Brianna's putting in. Helptherebellion.com. If you match it, we've got a fighter's chance. Every dollar helps to reach a voter. Okay, so they've got plenty of them. I mean, we just looked at it today. In the in the last race, there was over four million spent against Nina Turner. Uh, several uh, packs that on the issue of Israel. And if you're wondering what, where, what, why Cleveland and Israel? What does that have to do with anything? Um, <laughs> the Intercept broke a story, guys, where um, Chantel Brown was putting a red box on her website and then had quotes from Democratic Majority for Israel leaders on the website. It, it's a long story, but the short version of that, and you can read the Intercepts article on it, is she is inviting dark money donors and these specific dark money donors 
into the campaign so they'll spend millions of dollars in independent expenditures. And they're doing it again this time. So we don't have any choice, we must fight back. And and again, if Nina Turner doesn't win, they'll say, "Oh yeah, they had a battle of ideas, absurd, <laughs> and, and Chantel won. No, and by the way, on Democratic Majority for Israel, we're not pulling any punches. They're pouring millions into this race and Chantel Brown is Supporting them on the on the Iran deal, for example, she said she support Biden. She isn't. She's supporting a Democratic majority for Israel's position instead. So we're going to have an ad on that coming out soon, aren't we, Brianna? Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, Jake. I want to say something about this. You know, if Rebellion Pack, you know, intuition drives the research that we do, and then research drives the decisions that we make. And we've we've done a lot of research into Cleveland, figuring out you know what issues are salient there, what do voters care about. I have never seen a single point of data in my entire life that shows anyone in Cleveland is concerned about the Iran deal ever. It's never come up in any research we've ever done. So you know, my real objection here is it's, it's about the corruption, right? You can have a position on this or that, but when you start just pouring money into a system to essentially buy a candidate's votes, it's, it's the way the system is broken for all of us. And I think it's so egregious when it's coming at the expense of someone who very clearly stands for Cleveland on the hard issues. $15 minimum wage. I did not understand just how endemic poverty was in Cuyahoga County until I started working this race. You know, I saw the number of people in Cleveland that were trying to make it on under $15,000 a year. You know, that $15 minimum wage. That's a lot of money in people's pocket. And I really resent that someone could come in with a political agenda that really has nothing to do with the district itself and essentially buy the policies that they want. It's everything that just churns people's stomachs about American politics. Yeah, and guys, don't get stuck on the fact that it's Democratic majority for Israel. It could be Democratic majority for Norway or for Saudi Arabia or for plumbers or dentists. It doesn't make a difference. The bottom line is when somebody puts in several million dollars into your race and they say it is for fill in the blank, in this case Israel, they're buying your vote. That's that's why they put the money in, right? So and and what do we care about a rebellion pact? We actually want the people in Ohio to have fifteen dollar minimum wage. <laughs> Currently in Ohio, the federal minimum wage applies. It's no joke, people are getting that, $7.25. This would double their salaries. It would, if Nina Turner wins and she fights for $15 minimum wage and, and actually gets it, it would double a lot of people's salaries in Cleveland. So this makes all the difference. HelpTheRebellion.com, HelpTheRebellion.com. We'll have the link down below if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. Brianna Wu, Executive Director of Rebellion Pack, thank you for joining us, we appreciate it. Happy to be here. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.